Hey guys, Electric Boy Forty Six here, back with a, another video. Uh, I got a request on Google Plus to make a tutorial on how to make this image of a water spout, looks like a metal tube shooting up water and having it splash over with a ton of particles. This image uh, is created in Blender, as I said before, and it's used with the Cycles Render Engine in Blender 2.72. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, we're going to use this cube later on, so don't delete it. I'm gonna, just going to drag it over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over to create, or you can just hit shift A, and you're going to create the cylinder to make our metal tube. So the way I did this was I went into edit mode, and I went into face select, and I selected the top face. What you're going to do next is you're going to want to hit E which extrudes and then you're going to want to hit X, S, S not X which will allow you to drag it in. So that's a pretty nice thickness. Now you're going to want to delete the bottom face. Oh wait, actually you don't have to, sorry. And you're going to just want to extrude this. This isn't actually where the water comes from, it's actually all an illusion. In fact, this tube doesn't even collide with the water in any way. So now that we have our tube, I'm going to go ahead and enter Cycles Render here. So if we hit Shift and then Z, you can see the rendered product, which uh, isn't much. You don't have to delete the bottom, that's not necessary. Um, now what you're going to want to do is we're going to drag the cube over, let me exit edit mode by hitting tab, and you're going to want to drag the cube back over. And now this cube is going to be our domain for the water particles we're trying to make. So we're going to scale it up, uh, that size, and hit Z to enter wireframe so we can get a nice view of what we're making. Enter in uh, that mode down there and just pull it up. Come back to the arrow, drag it, and now we have a cube. But that that that's really not helpful, is it? So we're gonna drag this over, and we're gonna select our collisions or whatever this one is, and we're gonna enter fluid. And to get this fluid simulation, we're gonna enter our domain. And the final render is going to be at 125, so I'll let you with that. Let you in with that. Let me go ahead. I uh, didn't make one. It usually makes one. Sorry. No. Sorry, I need the timeline for this. It's not letting me make a timeline. Timeline. Oops. Uh. Actually, that'll work, because then we'll just form another one. And 3D view again. So now we have our timeline. And that's going to be important, because when normally when you see a water simulation on YouTube, this is going to be an image, but whenever you see one of those, it's normally like slow motion. And that's because over here, it says time. And... That it means is it'll start at zero and it'll end in four seconds, but that doesn't mean it'll end at four seconds through the full 250 frames. It means four seconds of animation in 250 frames. So we're going to just put that to 50, and we're going to set the end to two seconds. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to enter in fluid particles and we're going to enter a value of 10. Now we're going to go to fluid boundary and enter a subdivision of f like 5. Maybe a little more smoothing. This is, I don't even know what this does, but I think it will smooth the water out. And that's what you'll need to do for the domain. And at the end, we're obviously we're going to hit um, uh, 125. And we're going to enter in a new material. So we're going to add a new one and we're going to use nodes. And the surface is going to be glass because it's water and it needs to be clear. So 
now that we've done that, that sets a boundary for where our water is going to collide, and that's all we need to do, I believe. Uh, if I mess up, I'll come back to it, but that's all you need to do. And now you're going to go ahead and create a UV sphere. Now that may sound confusing, why am I doing a UV sphere, but this UV sphere is going to be the source of our water flow, so we're going to just drag it right below our uh, cylinder, and we're going to scale it down, because the water is going to be flowing up and around, creating the illusion that it is flowing through the cylinder. Um, now we're going to enter, go, make sure you have this selected and you're going to enter in fluid again. Now you're going to uh, enter a type and we're going to do inflow. Now if we want it to be kind of blasting up through the tube, we need to set a value of um, amount pushing and direction pushing. Now this does have physics. If you remember, the, f the stronger it is, the more water is going to be coming out. And we're going to enter a value of 5. So that'll just blast the water up. And maybe even 6. So now that that's done, we set our glass. So that has a water effect as well. And that is all you're going to need to do. And I believe that is all you need. So you're, you're set. And I'm just go going to go ahead and render this uh, out by hitting the bake button. And I will see you when it renders fully. Alright, so we're back. And I have stopped it early because this is probably all we're going to be needing for it. And now when you hit uh, Shift Z for the render, you'll see that it just kind of blasts up and through with no particles really. But that isn't true. Also we're going to smooth that out. But that's not true. If you go into render, I've set the camera so when you view it, it's straight into the tubes. And by hitting N, you can enter here and you can lock camera to view if you didn't know that. And you can just go ahead and set that up. Sorry, I am trying to do this. Yeah, there we go. So, and that will look good on camera. So we're going to go up and render the image. And there you have it. That is the basic tutorial for water flying up and splashing up. I know this isn't the same as the other image because we don't have a metal pipe. Uh, now to make a metal pipe, also you want to find a good one. So if I render that one out, you'll see it looks like that. Uh, if I render this frame, probably just the same one as last time. Nope, that looks like a good end frame. And you can also see it kind of leaks through because there's no collision. Now, we can fix that simply by just making a bigger tube. And now, if you render it out, you can see that it just splashes through. And there's a little bit off. It's a little bit off there. So we're going to slide it a little bit over. All right, now then, we rendered out that image. And there you have it, we have a nice splashing tube. Now we don't have a metallic um, look, so we go over to the materials button and, we'll get, and we're going to add a new. And now we're going to hit diffuse and we're going to go up to anastrophic. And now we're going to raise the anastropy to 1 and add a little roughness because that will give it that kind of look. And now rendered it'll have a nice uh, metal look. Of course there's no ground. I don't quite remember if the other one had a ground. Let me just check. 
No, the other one didn't have a ground. That's the old one. Now, you can edit this any way you want, so it'll look better when you make it. But this is what it looks like when I make it now, and we're just going to set the world background to blue. So now it's got a nice dark blue, and if we render out the image, you'll see that it looks like that. Oh, wait, there's a little under it. So we just have to raise that up and render out the image. There you have it, kind of. That's actually not good. Sorry, you guys, I'm a little messed up today on what I'm doing. So. But that is it for the tutorial. I'm going to stop it here. Uh, because this is the basics, and if you want a further tutorial on this, be sure to tell me in the comment section below. And in other words, uh, I will see you guys next time. See you later.